Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Chris Stewart. It's my honor to welcome you to this beautiful and historic day at the University of Alabama. It's uh, not surprising that uh, the boards were given such an incredible greeting at the airport yesterday and from Alabama fans all throughout the course of the morning as well. But we're so glad you're here and we look forward to learning more about you very soon. At this time, it's my honor to introduce the president of the University of Alabama. Please welcome Dr. Stewart Bell. Thank you, Chris, and good afternoon, everyone. Today is an exciting day for the University of Alabama community, our fans, certainly across this nation, and I think, I've, as I've learned, literally across the globe. Excitement. Today marks a new chapter in the Crimson Tide football program, and I am filled with immense anticipation and enthusiasm for what lies ahead. I want to express my gratitude to each person in this room who has played a vital role in supporting our university and the Alabama football program. Your guidance, your dedication to the university and our programs continues to be instrumental in the success that we enjoy year over year. First, a special acknowledgement is due to Coach Saban and Miss Terry, whose influence on our student athletes have just been outstanding in measurable contributions, and also to our university community, but also Tuscaloosa and West Alabama, it's just truly unparalleled. Your legacy will forever be, be interwoven with the fabric of the university, and we're profoundly thankful for enduring impact on our student athletes who are in West Alabama, but again, truly all over the world. Also want to, also want to express my appreciation to Athletic Director Greg Byrne, whose leadership and hard work, and I don't think hard work really captures uh, the last few days, but he has been instrumental in identifying the right person, the perfect person, to lead our football program forward, to develop our student athletes and to represent our university. Greg, thank you for all you've done. <laughs> Much gratitude as well to all of our UA Board of Trustees media who are with us here today. Thank you for your leadership, for your guidance. Uh, Pro Cam Scott Phelps, also special thanks to our athletic Chair Mike Brock over the last couple of days has also spent a lot of time working with the Chancellor, uh, Finest St. John, and everyone's ongoing leadership, guidance, and support uh, throughout this process. Thank you for that. <laughs> so as we embark on this next exciting chapter, I am truly thrilled for the future of the Crimson Tide. Our elite student athletes continue to represent our university with distinction and demonstrate excellence both academically as well as on the field. Their success remains a pride point and a hallmark for this university. Without further delay, I'll now turn it over to Greg Byrne, who will officially introduce our new head coach, share more details about the transformative moment that we're at with Crimson Tide football. Roll Tide. Regina and I 
Well, and I want to thank you for all the first support during this. We had a great conversation with Coach DeBoer and Nicole in Seattle just a few days ago. And from there, I knew it was the right choice for the Crimson Tide. Simply put, Coach DeBoer is a winner. In his nine seasons as a head coach, he's 104 to 12. He went 25 3 in his, 25 and 3 in his two seasons in Washington after taking over the challenging situation. As we know and watch, he just led the Huskies to the 2024 College Football Playoff National Championship game. Washington won the 2023 Pac 12 Championship. They recorded the most wins in the season in Washington program history with 14 last year. He won six of the eight National Coach of the Year awards in 2023 and is back to back Pac 12 Coach of the Year award winner. In his last two years, his teams were 10 and 1 against ranked opponents. The list goes on and on. He's a ball coach. Impressive as those accolades are, what stands out equally as much are his relationships off the field and the way he cares about his players. One of the many things I felt responsibility for in the search was to make sure we had someone who cared for our kids just as much as Coach and Miss Terry did. And at the end of the day, when we're hiring a coach, I ask a simple question because I got to keep it pretty simple for myself. Is this, someone I, is this someone I would want my son to play with? The answer for Coach DeVore is absolutely. We're thrilled to welcome Kaylin, his wife Nicole, his daughters Alexis and Avery, here today as we introduce the next head football coach of the University of Alabama, Kaylin DeVore. Um, 
play here, you know, each and every Saturday and uh, the support that they, they get. But obviously there's a, a major piece of that where they came here because Coach Saban and Dennis Terry, you know, poured everything into them and they, they just saw the vision and wanted to be a part of it. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a privilege um, to be to be chosen to be in this role. It's one I don't take lightly. And I know that Coach Saban's been working hard to make sure that this program is in a great spot for the next person to take over. I think there's, he hasn't told me this, but I think there's an intentionality um, that's been in place. You know, we kind of figure out, um, I don't want to put words in his mouth, but I think you kind of know at some point, you don't know when that point is, but you want to make sure it's in a great place. And as you can see just from this past season, um, he's in a great place. And being in a room last night where you know, I saw a team that has stuck together. Greg talked about 72 hours, okay? I want you to put yourself in those guys' shoes, okay? The legendary coach, okay, that they came to play for, all right? And now what's next? And I can't tell you how much I appreciate them already. And I've had multiple meetings last night, today with them, individually, leadership groups. I know how badly they want to continue the tradition, how they want to do it the right way, and them just getting to know me here in just a few hours, it's been a blast, and I can't wait for the journey that lies ahead. The coach statement, thank you for all you've done, um, for laying the foundation for myself and the rest of this uh, staff that will hire and these players to continue to build on everything you've done here, so thank you. Investment hours that have been put in 
by me compared to what has made this place what it is. Um, for me, it's very little. And uh, I want to learn the stories. I want to learn all the great moments. Um, I know many of them. I've watched them afar. But I know there's so many behind the scenes and things that are just important to the tradition, tradition and the alumni. And can't wait to have you here and uh, hear all your great stories um, along the way. But, um, you know, I just want to reiterate my excitement. And, you know, people ask, already asked, like, why would you go down that? Why? Well, I think there's a lot of really obvious answers, right? And I've touched on that. When it comes to tradition and the history of the program, it's second to none. And when I look at places that I want to be, it's about winning championships. And that's an expectation that I cannot wait um, and accept as a privilege to try to uphold winning SEC championships, winning national championships. That's an expectation and a love and an interest that I've always had and a passion I'll have and looking forward to carrying with our players, our staff, and all of you here um, as we go through as we go through these uh, years ahead. The resources. The facilities, everything that could be here to support our, our players, our staff. That's my role as a head coach, is to provide that atmosphere, that environment. And when you have resources like we have here in Alabama, it makes my job easier, okay? And uh, looking forward to, to uh, utilizing and showing off these resources to the, those that want to be uh, wearing the crimson. Um, a belief of mine when it comes to just athletics is that it brings people together. Again, last night, right? People coming together and in a much bigger fashion in this uh, in this beautiful stadium here behind you. Um, bringing people together, bringing a community together. Uh, I'm learning about the enrollment of the university and how it's grown. You know, and that's I know a credit to what the football program has done, but also to uh, everyone else. You know, buying into the philosophical beliefs of uh, this great university. But um, when it comes to, to you know, bringing people together, that is a passion of mine. Um, there's something special about you know, being a head coach and the investment that goes into trying to make all the different pieces fit, having the right people in those places. And these facilities are awesome. But it's the people that make the place special. It truly is. And I felt that, and I've heard that from Greg as we talk, um, that you here, you all, you have made this special, and it's not just about these beautiful resources, these beautiful facilities. So I'm looking forward to getting to know each and every one of you. I think alignment is important. So when we're talking about you know, why Alabama, alignment from president on through to Greg, to the head coach, and on down, I just think that the alignment and you know just everything that we're all trying to accomplish together, and locking arms, and uh, fighting the same fight that we all want, and knowing that uh, our passions um, are all the same, uh, that alignment is critical. And the programs and universities and all the, the, the different uh, sport teams that have success, there's usually some sort of alignment. And uh, we certainly have that here on a very strong level at Alabama. I'm 100% convinced of that. When it comes to our goals, I shared with you is to win the SEC and national championship. But how are we going to do that? We're going to do that with class. We're going to do it with integrity, okay, with academic excellence. And um, that is uh, my job to make sure we uphold the standard that has been set here in Alabama uh, and continue to build on that. When it's, uh, when it's about winning, um, you know, it's also about a culture. And I will share with our guys that as we already have here a culture that is contagious, You'll hear me say that many times. I cannot wait to add to that, continue to make it to where you can feel through the TV screen when someone's watching a game how hard our guys play and how much they love each other and care for each other and how badly they want to win for all of you. And, you know, the culture will be contagious and more and more people, just as it's been, we want to continue to be a part of this. And the last piece, so uh, when it comes to developing players athletically, academically, socially and even spiritually, okay? And that being our focus as a staff, we, in the end, want to make sure that we're building better men. We want to build better men because someday, okay, football will be over, okay? Someday, real life will hit you in the face and 
building better men in this time that we're going through, this phase in their life, it is one of the most influential that they will have. And it is, it is a privilege and it's an honor to be somewhat in a position that can have that influence. And I don't take that light, lightly and I'll surround myself with a staff that will be great husbands, great fathers, great people, provide a template for, for great players that come through here to understand what it looks like to be a man. And uh, that's an awesome goal. Our staff will have a lot of attributes and qualities, um, and that will definitely be one of them. So, um, you know, developing athletically, academically, socially, and spiritually. What's next? Uh, you know, as we build our team, uh, last night, just got to hear from some guys. Uh, wasn't a lot of questions, uh, especially as a whole team, but you know, you break up into little segments and then, then, they, then they start talking. And, uh, and that's what I want to hear. I want to hear what makes this place special. Um, I want to hear about the traditions that I'm aware of. I want to hear about all the things that, that really matter to them and uh, ingrain myself into what's been special about Alabama football. But it all starts with the relationships and communication, which builds the trust that we must have to step on the football field with great chemistry, as we've seen years upon years upon years. Okay? It isn't just about talent. Talent gets you a long ways. But the championship teams have something special. They have that it factor. And the relationship that we will build will help us have an accountability for each other, an accountability to ourselves, Accountability from coach to coach, coach to player, player to player, player to coach. We we'll also form a brotherhood, a brotherhood that is so tight and that anything that comes our way will not break us. It will be tough. We call these our three non-negotiables that we will stand by in the toughness piece. It's not just physical, okay, which is what Alabama prime football prides itself on, but it will also be mental. Mental toughness, understanding how to handle adversity, because we understand the challenge that it takes to win a national championship. We understand that it's not easy. It never is, but anything worth anything at all is hard. And we're looking forward to that journey and to those, uh, to those uh, challenges. When it comes to a style of football, um, I don't know what you've seen about how we play, but obviously playing hard um, is, a, is a big piece of it. But what we try to do, it's always going to be around our personnel. It's, it's, Always, oh, yes, we're going to recruit the best, the, the highest character guys, but we're going to be able to have, have uh, concepts and systems that are, are able to be in adjustment uh, to what we have and what our strengths are. As much as we have great players in every position, there are some positions that are stronger than others from year to year. And we will be explosive, I promise you that. We will be aggressive, we will attack, and um, you know, we understand the game is meant to be one, one play to one play still, and that's to be physical and dominate the line scrimmage and control it from both sides of the ball. will always be a staple of our program. And as we go through, as we go through utilizing our personnel and having a dominant offense and defense along with fundamental, fundamental special teams, um, you know, I hope you guys enjoy coming to games and seeing how we play and enjoying, you know, one that could come in and, and uh, you know, cheer on and, and understand the guys that are wearing those helmets. Um, they have a lot of talent, but they're really special people and uh, poured everything they can into it. When it comes to recruiting, and I can go on and on um, about how we will recruit. Um, it is, a, I understand, it's the lifeblood of our program. We can have great coaches, but the guys on the field are the ones that make the plays. And a relentless attitude, starting with, first and foremost, myself, and our, then leading to our staff is what it's going to take um, to be the best of the best here with tough, the tough competition here in the SEC and to win the national championship. I'm looking forward to rolling up my sleeves and uh, going to work. And I want to say one more thing um, because this is something that's very important to me and I wanted to say it last um, because I knew I might get emotional, I'm not sure, but I need to thank some people okay, back in Washington. And it's a special place to me. It really is. And this was one of the few places, maybe the only place, that I would have ever left to come coach at. So I understand what Alabama football is all about. And those, those guys that I sat in front of a room yesterday,
today, I know what they're going through because I saw the same thing less than 24 hours ago. And I just, I just want to tell everyone because I know they're, they're watching. I just want to tell you guys I love you. I will miss you. And, um, you know, I want nothing but the best for everyone back there. And uh, the journey in the last two years has been special. I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to the new journey that lies ahead. I'm looking forward to those new challenges here. I cannot wait. Like I said, to roll up my sleeves with all of you, with our team, right, and go to battle each and every day. Thank you and roll time.